I said, okay. I said, I, you know, I saw man of God coming. I just, my eyes just jammed with the man of God. Then something just asked me, just turned up. I just stood up. The next thing, the fire was just, I just heard something burst. Then I saw the blood coming out. I'm surprised when the man of God knows that that is my case. When I said that it's fire blood. I go to hospital. They told me that uh, they need to operate me. But this is the, for my life, I operate uh, almost five times. So this time around, I said, no, I can't, I cannot continue operating. You see what's happened? You see? You are gripped. Don't, don't, don't. Just look, look one eye here, one eye here. You know how to look, that kind of look. You see? Listen to me, this message is more important than what you are looking. This is miracle. But what I'm saying will help you to maintain your... Yes. You know, I told you that uh, many spirits are here already. This one. I said, I will open the door for your spirit to enter. It's this one. In regard to your spirit, you will stay there, your spirit will enter. Already, some spirit they are here already. Thank you. Good morning. Wow, we have two Bible here today. This is big. This is another one I've placed here since morning because of you. And I open it down. So, when you come inside, I know you want to know the verse. I will leave it for you. I will not tell you. When you come inside, you look at the verse, you know what I'm asking God for you. Hallelujah. Have your seats. So I will not tell you, you will see it yourself. I know that is where your heart is now. You want to go down and say, let you see. What is my open down since morning? Yes, what is that? Okay. Don't look this side. It's here. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you. And uh, when I was coming, a lot of restriction. But I thank God I'm here. And uh, no man of God, man of God, man of God, man of God. I don't know. You know, when we are grieved by fear and panic, you can imagine, when we do not see beyond our challenges, beyond our situation, you know the situation you are in. When you do not see beyond them, you are gripped. You see what's happened? You see? You are gripped. Don't, don't, don't. Just look, look one eye here, one eye here. You know how to look, that kind of look. You see? Listen to me, this message is more important than what you are looking. This is miracle. But what I'm saying will help you to maintain your... Yes. You know, I told you that uh, many spirits are here already. This one. I said, I will open the door for your spirit to enter. It's this one. Look, when we do not see beyond our situation, we are gripped by fear and panic. What is going to happen? Since morning I've been sitting down here. I don't know whether my own will look like that lady that 
receive a sign. A lot of things. A lot of things keep going on. I pray you will know the ignorance of your faith. Yeah. When we are ignorance of our faith, fear gripped us. Panic and fear. When you are ignorance of your faith, say, ah, faith care, faith. Hallelujah. Let's take a look at the book of Second King, chapter 6, verse 15. They was all over the world. So you keep saying you miss me, but I'm here again and again, again and again. Are you still saying you miss me? See what's this happen? See what's this happen? It's happening everywhere right now. Everyone that is under the influence of this program. Your affliction is bleeding. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, my affliction, my affliction. is bleeding. bleeding. My hardship is, is bleeding. My poverty is bleeding. Is bleeding. Is bleeding. Is bleeding. Is bleeding. Stagnation, Stagnation is bleeding. Is bleeding. Is bleeding. Is bleeding. Failure. It's bleeding. It's bleeding. Uh -huh. something, look at this one, it's bleeding. Just suddenly. He has been sitting since morning, but why now? Since morning, he has been sitting down there, but why now? Instantly. That's to show you, Holy Spirit is welcome. <laughs> Hallelujah. Verse 15, when the servant of the man of God got up and went out early the next morning, an army with horses and chariots had surrounded the city. Oh no, my Lord, what shall we do? That is the fear. The servant asks, don't be afraid. The prophet answers, those who are with us are more than those who are. You, you can see now that those who are with you are more than the forces of adversary. You agree with me? Before now you are afraid and you are gripped. But now you have seen that there is a way out. There is a way out. When the servant of Elijah saw the chariots an instrument of war, he ran to his master. Master, these people are more than us. And the master said to him, don't be afraid. This is what I'm saying here now. You say your affliction it seems to be more than you, and I'm now telling you, no, look at the screen. You say your poverty is more than you, look at the screen. You say hardship is more than you, look at the screen. You say joblessness is more than you, look at the screen. You are saying setback it seems to be more than you, but I'm telling you, look at the screen, what is happening? He ran to his master and said, Master, these people are more than us. And the master said to him, don't be afraid. I'm saying to you, don't be afraid. Look at this. Don't be afraid. For they that are with us here, fighting for us, Supporting our position are more than the forces of adversary. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, those are with us, fighting for us, protecting us, are more than the forces of affliction, are more than the forces of. Failure are 
are more than the forces of setback. Are more than the forces of nightmare. Are more than the forces of stagnation. Are more than the forces of career failure. Is that not what you are seeing now? Look at the woman sitting quietly, suddenly. He was afraid of fiber. But here the Lord is saying to her, those with us are more than the forces of what? Fiber. Tell your challenges, tell your situation. Right now, tell your situation. Those with me here are more than the forces of your challenges. What kind of challenge do you have? Tell your challenges. Those who are with me here are more than the forces of you challenges, you setback, you failure, you sickness, you affliction. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Not to let this woman, you see signs to believe. Today, we are like servant of Elisha, who on the outside are fighting. In Jesus, in Jesus, in Jesus, in Jesus. On the outside are fighting, but within are filled with panic, fear. Anxiety. I said, today, you are like servant of Elisha. You are like a servant of Elisha who on the outside are fighting, but within are filled with fear. They say in Jesus' name, Nanlayo, it's not like that in the heart. In Jesus' name, I'm talking to you. As we are here now today, it's just as amen, amen. People will think that you are with me. Let Tiger enter and see whether you wait. I trust you. You will jump through the window. You will not tell TB Joshua, please. I cannot wait. I'm still young. I say, listen to me. Amen. 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 Let lion just enter and <laughs> my dear, <clears throat> which can't you be Joshua? That is your life. When trouble comes, you seem to be ignorant of your faith. When challenges come, you seem to be ignorant of your faith. Under pressure and tension, ignorance of your faith. Under temptation, affliction, ignorance of your faith, you begin to count how many tithes you pay. You, I mean, I'm not sure in the church. My name is Stephen. I've stopped smoking. I've stopped fighting. I've stopped fornicating. I've stopped stealing. I've stopped destroying. You start counting your righteousness. <laughs> when trouble comes, you begin to count your righteousness. I've stopped smoking. I've stopped going to nightclub. I don't know why all this is still happened to me. I don't know. I've stopped smoking. I've stopped lying. Why all this still still happened to me? I go to church regularly. Why all this? I'm a notcher in the church. Why all this? I'm a pastor. Why all this trouble? That's the time to count your righteousness. Today, say after me today. today. We are like Elijah servant. Yeah. Who, on Who on the outside are fighting, are fighting. but within a fear with fear, fear. Anxiety, anxiety, and panic. Uh -huh. 
You see, little time we wave our hands in worship, but within, filled with fear, doubt, unbelief. Worship you, Lord, worship you, Lord. Whereas within, fear, doubt, within, unbelief. In Acts 7, verse 1, Stephen was conscious of his faith. Even in death, Stephen was conscious of his what? Say after me. You know, he was being stoned to death. In stone, he said, in Jesus' name. In stone, he said, thank you, Jesus. In stone, he said, thank you, Lord. I trust you. In stone to you. He said, ha. I'm an usher in the show. Why all this is happening to me? But he was conscious of his faith, even in death. Paul and Salas, under serious threat, serious threat, Paul and Silas, in that book of Acts 16, verse 22, they were conscious of their faith. Daniel, in Daniel 6, 10, he was conscious of his faith, even under pressure and tension. So rise up and let us pray. Ask God to give you the grace to be conscious of your faith. Even under pressure and tension, to be conscious of your faith. Under pressure and tension of affliction, to be conscious of your faith. Under pressure of temptation, to be conscious of your faith. Under pressure and tension of hardship set by to be conscious of your faith. Prayer. Maintenant, priez, demandez à Dieu de vous rendre conscient de votre foi, même sous la pression, la tension, de la difficulté, de la régression. Ahora mismo pídele a Dios que te dé la gracia de ser consciente de tu fe bajo presión y tensión en el nombre de Jesús. En Jesus Christ name we pray. Joy, I come from Benue State. Um, I'm having a problem of fiber for the past half, five years. So I came to church this morning. I was I sat down there. So I was, I was feeling heat all over my body. Feeling heat all over my body. The next thing, I wanted to go out. This guy stand next to me. He said, I should not go out. I should start down. I said, okay. I sat down. You know, I saw a man of God coming. I just... My eyes just jammed with the man of God. Then something just actually just turned up. I just stood up. The next thing, the fire was just, I just heard something burst. Then I saw the blood coming out. I'm surprised when the man of God know that that is my case. And I always said that it's fire blood. I go to hospital. They told me that uh, they need to operate me. But this is the, for my life, I operated almost five times. So this time around, I said, no, I, can, I cannot continue operating. So tell us, how do you feel now as this fibroid bursts from your system and is coming out? How do you feel now? I feel, to I feel good. Very, very good. Before, pains. Pains. But now, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. We can see you pressing. You mean you, you couldn't no. press it like that before? No, no, no. Why? 
the pains. For so much. Yeah. Women that have five blood, they know what it they is. They can explain better. Yeah. So now you're pressing it so hard. You mean you don't feel I feel I feel good now. No more pain. Yeah, no more pains. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. And not only that, we can see that you started uh, vomiting out. I don't know. Hmm. I started feeling pass out. I want to, something just started disturbing me, me that I should vomit. So, so you mean the gentleman sitting by you noticed? He noticed. How that, you were he I should not go outside. I should stay. My name is Love de Melford. I'm from River State. What I noticed is I sitting, I sitting close to this woman. What I noticed on her, she was shaking, feeling sensation on her chest. Her chest is hurting. I said, she want to go out. I said, no, don't go out. Stay. Today might be your day. Don't go anywhere. You might go out, but you will not come back again. Don't go out. Please stay here. Don't go. Please stay. But, I, I beg that he, the woman, the man of God, walked in. I saw her walk up, get up, start, uh, started bleeding. Hmm. She started bleeding seriously. I said, ah, thank God. What I told this woman is that happened. So thank God for everything. So you are seeing this and it's happening right before you. In front of me. What can you say about this? Man, sincerely speaking, I won't lie to you. God is here. God is here. 